so um, the problem you could, the, pro the, the problem is and I'm trying to solve is visible here. If you look at proc kale sims and sort and sort it by name, there's a lot of duplicates. Um, they, sim sim symbols in the kernel are not unique. Um, they're not even unique in the core kernel, but certainly when you add built-in modules, they're not unique at all. Um, how do I switch slides? Uh, slides. Uh, uh, there's one earlier. Yes. Um, you can, a, a lot of these, many, many of these recurring symbols are dead, boring, M next, and so on, are not the most exciting, um, exciting symbols in the world. But sometimes, sometimes if you're tracing things and you and you want to drop a probe of some kind onto on M next, you might want to probe only one of them. If you if only you knew which M next was which, because, uh, because a given M next is, is only a given function, a, a given M next in this slide is only called likely to be called from inside one translation unit and so if you could probe only one you could you you, you could often get away with, a, with without having to mess about looking at call stacks to filter out things of interest um certainly i've had this i've had this problem with these with these functions in particular but we can't tell them apart it's just a pile of identical looking addresses um i've got a par a partial fix for it in a patch i haven't yet got up i haven't yet got, yet got upstreamed uh, which decorates um, mod, um, uh, uh, symbols which appear in modules with the name in brackets, just like they do for non-built-in modules. But they decorate it's, it's decorated even if the module is always bu is, bu is built into the kernel. So it doesn't matter how you change your kernel config if it's built in if it, if, if it's there at all, it will appear the same way in proc kernel mod sims. You'll, it, it will look like this no matter what. You that's disambiguated some of them. But there are still two M two, two next there that look identical uh, because they're in the core kernel and they're always there. And you putting a module name in doesn't help if they're always, if they're always in the same place. Um, this patch has had a somewhat rough history when it started out. The overhead of this was ridiculous. It was like 800k just to just to add this one piece of information. And people reasonably said we're not going anywhere near this. Uh, the overhead now is 10k or less, which is probably acceptable. Uh, building it is a bit more complicated. It's not perfect. I think there's still a few identical symbols there, but I, um, it occurred to me while preparing this talk that we can fix this. We can disambiguate every symbol reliably by sticking translation unit names in, or object file names, really. Um, this, I don't know what the syntax would, might be. I don't know whether we want the weird bracketed thing to appear before or after the other bracketed thing. I don't, I don't know whether we could put this in proc all sims or proc or whether we need a new proc all mod sims because adding extra elements would break every parser in the world, uh, which is one reason why I was sticking it in kale mod sims anyway, because existing parsers might reasonably that's, expect that's really module file names to it's, 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 yes. It's, it's, yes. It's, you just remove, I don't know, say yes. it will be good. Model. Separate, separate file. It will be because, a separate file. Well, okay. e even if the translate, if the object file names weren't there, I think it would still need to be a separate file because there are existing tools that assume that everything with a square bracket name module name has an object file on disk and that's not true if some of them are built into the kernel um they shouldn't really depend on that but they but, uh, but they do so yes good excellent separate file that's, that's well, I, know we something break that so <laughs> I didn't want to break this but there might have been some people saying we don't want more files in proc there, there has been a cleanliness in proc movement which i've never found any rationale for because there are millions of files in proc if you count the um pid directories um the, the problem with this is you might get quite a, use quite a lot of space on all these blasted translation units, not object file names. There are lots of them, um, but we're only disambiguating with this. We're not trying to come up with some massive directory of, of which of every what what thing every sim, what file every symbol came from. So we can throw most of these names away and only put in the, um, only provide a um, a squiggly bracketed um, object file name if you need it. So. In, in next case, you put them in because we, because you need them. But most, but for example, X4 operations or, or something probably only appears in one file, so you wouldn't need it. Um, I think this would cut. I'm still working on a code, but I think this would cut down the amount of space you need to about 10 or 15 k. You can share it. if you cut the dot o off and things. You could possibly even share the strings with module names, but that might be complexity too far. Um, it's not very hard, hard to do this. I've already got 80% of the infrastructure in the um, code for the square bracketed module names al um, al already. There are possible that the, the, the um, 
the, uh, the, the way we do this is we don't store any information on a very simple basis. Uh, we use uh, we use a linker map, the linker maps to um, get information on whole object files, and 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 use this to store information on what on on every on on every object on object file wide properties. This object file is part of this module or these several modules at the same time because there are some which are part of multiple modules and, and linked in repeatedly and that sort of thing. Um, I have an exciting graph here. Uh, it's basically a binary search pile of a, a pile of addresses, one per uh, one per object file, a binary search pile of names, and we could have another another one of these with a binary search pile of names of of, 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 of object files, and then a binary search pile of module names. And there's a bit of optimization in here. Um, if several ranges are contiguous, then we can we can in the same object. How is this created? Um, scripts, KL sims, um, and a linker map. So um, for each one, because I said it was all basically it, it created a build time. Is, yeah. it, is it at the end after the everything's been built, then it runs and creates these, or is it created for? It's created at, li at link time, but linker spits out a link map, and it's the same okay. KL sims pass as usual. Okay, it's, and nothing sort as the linker. What sorts them? The linker actually emits these things in order. Oh, okay. uh, but we but we need to we need to do a bit of extra sorting anyway. We're only sorting module name lists as part of optimizing them. Okay. So uh, it's a tiny it's tiny. I literally couldn't see the uh, performance overhead okay. of this. Uh, where I have experienced pushback is that figuring out these the, the, all this all this built-in module name stuff requires that old um, make file mod file final iterator, which works over every make file in the kernel with different macros in, in force, so it can figure out which module is where, and um, at least one person wants to remove all that. Well, has removed them, this from the core kernel, uh, from the kernel build system. So I had to put it back in again. I'm getting a lot of pushback saying this push slows down the build. Even with minus J1, it, the build is less than a tenth of a second slower. I don't see the problem. <laughs> so I'm putting it back in. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it, it's true that it's not needed for anything in the in the kernel anymore. But you do need it for this because you're redefining make file symbols. Well, you can't make do sure this at the same time. Done when this is Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's that's already happening, um, and it, compiling it in seems to add almost no overhead. In fact, there's more overhead in the code, the size of the code in script scale seems to construct this thing than there is in the tables that result, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, there are some optimizations in here which I would carry forward no matter what. In particular, if you've got, if you see here, liquid the O2 liquid IO liquid IO VF thing, uh, that's a, a a bunch of translation uh, or a bunch of object files which are used in multiple modules at the same time. Things which are only used by um, in in liquid IO VF do not store the name a second time; they point into it. Uh, I think I've got an arrow here for that. Oh yes, this this one um, points into the second half. Of the, there's a there's a dividing line which you can't see on this screen. Um, so we uh, so in any given module name is only stored once. That same will be true for translation units. Um, this is probably complete overkill and a premature optimization because only about three modules in the entire kernel do this trick of being linked linked in repeatedly. But it's not going to make it bloated if we do it this way. There are problems with this scheme. I I, I like it because it's incredibly space efficient, but you, it doesn't work with data symbols. You might want to do, you might want to know what module a data, a, a data symbol came from, and the link of map file doesn't list those. I don't know any way to get that in in, in, in practice. Um, this is just asking the same questions I've mostly I've mostly asked before. Um, I don't know any way to get uh, to, uh, to to find out what um, module or, or for that matter what translation unit a data symbol came from. The linker won't tell us as far as I can see. Um, does it show up in NM? Uh, Yes, if it shows up in M M, we can possibly we can possibly do it that way. The problem is that once it lands in K in K Olsons, they're all merged. Can you do it? Well, I'm saying yeah. this: if you know, have it do it before it goes into. Um, mm -hmm. If you're just going for data, you want to do the processing before the linker. Oh um, yes, yes, you could do that. Um, so yes, but maybe, maybe we could make this work for data symbols. That's the bit. That's the biggest that's hole in this, really. The um, what we've done with uh, like uh, the. Uh, record M count or for the M count sections, we do it at the object time, not at the mm. linker time. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look at that. Um, I don't think there's any there's any real worry about ambiguity for data symbols. Um, right. I, well, I mean, you have, if you have the address, right? Or, mm, are there are there any duplicates? Are they even possible? I'm not sure. Yeah, not for globals. No. And how many globals are there really? I haven't counted. I can I can I, I, I counted function symbols. Oh, there is one. The, the, the tracing system has huge numbers of levels. 
double underscore trace underscore blah and some yeah, of the things No, I, I, I would like to filter them. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I'm saying this uh, because I usually try to, uh, look for examples of tracing mm. a and try to filter them out yes almost everything's a, like you know almost everything is just per op, per something so mm. everything's like allocated there's uh, there's very few like global yeah. symbols that i, I personally for you we can't do anything yeah. with it um yes there, we, there was a similar um pr a problem i ran into with read once back in the day which was that every single read once this is when i was doing the ctf stuff every single read once had its own static structure and in mm. dwarf that was leaked to the top level <laughs> <laughs> you ended up with 99% of the types in the kernel being things that can never actually be referenced. Right. <laughs> but that's not relevant for this. Um, anyway, does this seem that it, 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 I've got a link? Um, I've got links to, links here to the most recent postings. Some parts of it are a little overcomplicated. Some parts of it are possibly primitive optimizations in the, in the way I'm sort of opti trying to optimize references to module names. So they're pointing into the middle with other names and that sort of thing. But it does make it smaller. I, 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 I don't know if people, if people find this useful. I have definitely had a pr more problem getting people's attention with, with patch review than people saying no, no, no. Um, I think only Masahiro Yamada has been saying no, no, no about the, 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 the iterators um, over, the, uh, over the modules. But no one said no, no, no about the general idea. Actually, it's right. Really it's really 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 I wonder if we should. I wonder. Oh, we don't have microphones here or anything. So if you want, we have a speaker up front. So I don't know if there's anyone logged on remotely. Is there? Are there a few people? So oh, you're you're it, welcome to walk up here and speak yeah, into so the microphone. Want, <laughs> it closer, works. Just, like, walk up here to talk. I did think. I don't think I can throw this. It might take the machine with it. Yes, that's why. So <laughs> make, make sure let's put this over here because it should pick up at least if. It picks up everyone in the dining room. So. Oh, so it looks like your personal yeah. properties. So yes, it around is. The room might be I, back I bought it for Thanksgiving, uh, COVID Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's very nifty. Yeah, the, the, I think that the uh, during the patch review process of, of this patch series, um, the cover letter, for instance, doesn't really express everything as well as uh, I think that the description of the BOF does. The, I, BOF, the, the BOF description is really well written. And it reads much better than the cover letter. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going to change that. So, I, I, I was thinking for a while about how do I express this without making it seem like something that's so, only useful for D-Trace. Yeah, it's got another so, purpose, resolving ambiguity. In, in fact, in fact the, the first review of the past series was like, I had why? to like really dig to try to find out how is this useful and why. Mm -hmm. It was really, really hard to extract that information. So I think that the, the description right now on the BOF is very, very nice. I'm definitely changing the yeah, cover letter. That, that, that actually helps a lot. Because can we, can that, taking notes? Right. Yeah. That, okay, that, that, that first paragraph was how I was thinking about it. It, it was all D-Trace, 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 but it's yeah, not a D-Trace problem. It's an all traces problem. problem. Right. If you want specific notes, chat's usually more about discussion. Yeah. So uh, if you want to have like a notes, like action item specific things, that's usually what you should have done. Like, 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 there is a shared notes thing up here. Notes. Um, Write it in there so that way anything that's specific to um, like action items or things you want to reference about that's not really it's like yeah not discussion related. So what Lewis is actually saying is something that's pretty good to like, changing go. the cover letter is yes. definitely is. Like, I, I I I am not good at writing concise cover so, letters. So, I guess like uh, I'll give you my impression like on my reading of it. It was almost trying to uh, decompile in a way what, what your intention was, um, and that, that's. That's problematic from a patch review perspective. Oh, God, yes. It read more like, "Hey, this is kind of like something that you know was done in Dtrace, and it'd be useful. So you know, we should upchain something that works for Dtrace." But um, instead, yeah, it should be more care. like, "This is a problem, and this is a way to solve the problem, and it'd be useful for tracers." Here's an example. Mm. And instead, not only am I doing this for Dtrace, but you know what? I'm gonna go off. And do a bit of work to also then make yep. and use well, this. The killer so for me. To upstream, like it'd be awesome. Like I know you don't have to do this, but I'm the, saying, like, it, if you were to, oh, I totally agree. Take take a bit of time to also then modify the other tracers to also use this. And I have adjusted. It. I have adjusted perf to use the the um, module stuff in the module output. Um, See, then that's the sort of. It's not terribly if, exciting. If, if, if it's like mentioned then in, in, in the cover letter, letter like that, then it makes it yeah, immediately clear and obvious then that this is actually the next um, mind, patch, you know? patch posting will have that. But I think the thing which clarified it for me was this possible improvement of translation unit names because 
what we've got at the moment doesn't actually disambiguate every symbol because because the module adding modules to everything doesn't suffice for that. But if you've got have TU names as well, it does. Well, it also begs the question: What other cases in the film do we have or use cases to disambiguate? This mm. you know, TU. It's mostly tracing, sticking things, sticking other than tracing, trace symbols I mean, on things. We have other places in the film <laughs> where this might be useful. And the reason I ask is because then then you have the infrastructure for it. Oh, it's it's, 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 oh, it's the thing is. What things in the kernel are done to to named functions need 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 um, named to address lookups? Well, it's I, mostly k probes and things, isn't it? I can think of one uh, other possibility, but I still we still have to talk with with those folks. Would be the LSMs. Oh yeah, because they, they, they have got so, things that look through and decorate things. Not only yeah. that, we all also have complexities right now with LSMs too, doing bypassing. So right now mm. we have an easy way to solve that problem. Something that this might be useful for reliable that too. Because you can't do reliable lookups now, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah uh, my, my only worry is in the patch review process, people might reasonably say, why can't, why can't, we, why can't we just use, just use translation unit names? Why do we need the module names? And my totally selfish reason to need the module names is that when you're, is, is that when you're tracing stuff, it is actually useful to, to just be able to use the module sometimes for most symbols. Because but people, the use, end users know what module things in are in, but not what translation unit or object file things are in a lot of the time. Um, I, I think these object file names are only going to be used by P, but by end user tracer users when they find that something is ambiguous anyway. Normally, they're probably going to prefer to use modules or just nothing at all and hope it's hope there's only one of it. Um, my 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 hope is that tools will eventually say, "Hey, this is ambiguous. You need to pick one of these in some in some fashion." And in that if in that situation, it's at least helpful for a user to know that say. Well, none of these examples are useful, but this, that this is in this module is likely to be more helpful to a user than this is in this object file in the kernel. <laughs> so I think having both is actually valuable. This, but this may be purely selfish because Dtrace happens to have a notation for the module stuff already <laughs> and people are used to it. Um, I'm going to have to add a notation for the translation need for translation object file name thing as well is going to be painful but that's <laughs> no, no one else's concern <laughs> oh yes <laughs> question how will this interact with separate module compilation uh it all it already well separate separate modules out of tree modules are always modules which are not built into the core kernel and all this stuff only applies to stuff built into the core kernel um we don't get the map file at any other any other situation that is definitely something that it should also go on the action items list because it's perfectly possible to have ambiguous symbols in an out in and out of tree module or a non built into the kernel module and in that case we should be decorating it with the object file names which probably means we need some of these sections in individual individual modules as well and the um, iterators need to learn to traverse things in modules too which isn't, which should be doable. I mean, we're already traversing sections. I think modules. the fundamental problem is that an unknown new out of tree module can introduce new ambiguities that weren't present before. It will introduce ambiguities, but only within that module, because we're all, because it will always be the module, it will always be decorated with a module name in KL sims or KL mod sims or what have you. And that would serve to disambiguate every symbol in it from every other symbol in every other module and in the core kernel, because none of them will be in a module with the same name. Um, the only situation in which you're in a pro, I'm trying to make the disambiguation here is that you can use the module and uh, module name and possibly object file name and symbol to disambiguate the, the combination of all three to get an address. So if it's a new module, it can't collide with any existing names, but it can collide with other names in the same module. Sure. So, um, we, so we might need the translation unit yeah. for the object file disambiguation yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering if there is, if there is some information that you've thrown away too early. Maybe there is. I don't think so. We would need to arrange to get map files out of modules. The problem is that when people do an out of tree module, Kale, is Kale Sims even there? I don't think so. Um, because it, it, that's not a, it's a build tool. It's in, the, it's in the kernel tree, which means we might need a new tool just to generate this one bit of information so out of tree modules can use it. But if you're building an out of tree module, you always have the kernel build tree available or you can't build them at all. So maybe we can get Kale Sims out of there and have a mode for Kale Sims that generates this for the for out, for out of tree modules and for in tree modules for that matter. They can have ambiguities too. Same symbol appearing repeatedly in the same module. I think it's I think it's doable. Uh, as a, um, it might involve it might at 
perhaps worse involves some messing about getting some new tool in place, but I think we can always rely on chaos sims being there. I hope. I don't know if I'll find out. It's definitely something I need to do. Hadn't thought of that at all. I was assuming that it was that everything was working for for non-built-in modules, but nope, not anymore. <laughs> right. Yes, that's a good point. I think yes, and I think I think with all those in place, I th I don't think, given the scope rules of C, it's possible to get the same symbol more than once in a in a, in a single object file. Even with LD minus R. Oh, well, if we were still using LD minus R, we might be in trouble because I think the linker map file would show a single gigantic module, but thank God we're not anymore. We're using thin, thin archives and the linker has proper visibility. So I think, I think we can make that work. I'll try. And I am interested in keeping out of tree modules working and not having them be second class citizens. Um, there is, of course, one unavoidable piece of second class citizenship for out of tree modules, which is that if you're, um, for that matter, in tree modules, which is that we could share names in the, in the string tables, uh, which you can't do for an out of, for, for, for a module because it's got a separate string table. Nothing we can do about that. Use a bit more space, not a lot. Um, Oh, and, and obviously for a lot of modules, we can omit this. We can omit all these tables completely because there's only either there's an, only one object file or there's no ambiguity at all. And in that case, none of these, it, it would just end up the same as it does today. I think we all, uh, a very recent addition, by the way, we have a, um, oh, it's not here, sorry. We, ha we have a, K a BPF iterator for, for, for KL sims now. I am quite happy to add a BPF iterator for, um, Table mod sims as well. I just haven't figured out how to do it yet because <laughs> I don't really know how they work. Um, what, what I don't want is for the PPF iterator to be the only way to get access to this data because shell scripts can't use them. And getline is much easier to call than um, setting up a pile of PPF if you're not setting up a pile of PPF already. I think we should have both ways. But I certainly don't want to block PPF from getting access to this stuff. PPF is useful. Anyway, that's all I got. Um, I guess the only thing, uh, other thing that occurs to me to mention too is that um, there's an idea that uh, Christoph has been mentioning for a while now that might be useful here. And that is that um, it might be useful to express within the key config file itself the direct objects related to a specific module. And the reason is that then you have uh, both Ooh. mapping of key config to the objects. And if you do that, then you not only have mapping to the symbols, but also directly to the objects and the key conflicts. So this is doubling. This is doubling up uh, the information. It would be in the make file and in key conflict. Oh no, it would be a uh, complete alternative to oh. the make files. Ooh. Oh, I see. No, no make files at all. Wow, that's a big old system change. Uh, I suspect this, uh, uh, great, there'd be a great many changes to the, changes to the system if we did that. Um, wait, wait, what's going on here? Sorry, I was... Yeah, no, so, mm. so what, one, one, question, one idea that Christoph had mentioned a while ago, and I think that would uh, augment, uh, if this is really useful for, uh, for uh, symbols, oh, yeah. one question would be whether or not it would also be useful to have a, a, a mapping between symbols and also key conflict uh, symbols. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry, I thought you meant in the K config files. You mean if yes. you mean a con you, you mean there'd be some mapping to let you say config blah turns on these symbols. Oh, that would well, be very nice. That would be implicit by having the possibility as an option to have a K config file describe the object and modules mm. instead of a make file. We could say it's the, the, the thing here, of course, is there are a lot of K config symbols that turn that, that have via if deaths turn on some symbols in an object file, and sure. not all of them. So you couldn't use this sort of um, ob whole object file representation to optimize everything, but you could certainly you could certainly use it for some of them, things that turn on off whole files. That sounds like a chicken egg thing because how do you find the symbols about building everything? But you're saying to turn on this config, it will create these symbols, but how do you know those no, symbols? No, 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 you would use the key config to create the objects. The objects would still be compiled. That would be determined by, you know, the, the, the compiler, the link, or whatever, right? Um, the, the symbols would be separate from the key config entry itself. The key config file would just be used for representing the respective associated object files for the specific 
Kcopy so oh, things. so basically, instead of having them in the make files, you know, config equals this, config equals this, you just say kconfig and here's all the objects, That's and right. then just build it. So mm, actually, yes. that will probably make well, that probably will create like a make file probably, like you know, maybe. Yeah. 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 I think so, you have you think you have to put it together from fragments because there's a lot of stuff in make files which isn't just in this config case built. Is no, it? no, yeah. you'll probably have no. You just remove all those, so there'll still be make files. Ah, right. You're well, still going to have you're not replacing the make files. It's just, just you know, you're not replacing the make files. You're replacing all the, you know, you know, config dollar sign config x well, no, or, or, you know, yes. dot, or you know this e plus equals dot you know, like or you no know, or yes equals mm. or obj yeah no it's obj dash dollar sign whatever. And it would presumably build a make file and include it somehow. And that, yes. So mm. so no, we do so in your k config. You'll just say this config. Here's my object files. This config. Ooh. Here's my object files, and then remove all that crap from make files. Right? Ooh. I mean, this stuff, the, the stuff I've got here would keep working uh, because it uses a link and map file that doesn't depend on, on, on most of these things. Um, the interesting, the place it would have an interesting consequence is figuring out which modules are built, are built into the core kernel or not. <laughs> I'm used to people breaking that. <laughs> well, if you did that with the config, it, it would be possible to, you know, dig it out. Yes, somehow. Yes. Maybe, maybe, a, maybe a similar scheme of repeatedly going over the whatever make file anything we've got we have in place. As long as we're not migrating to Ninja, that would be too, a step too far, I think. <laughs> yeah, inter interesting idea. Um, I don't think it breaks any of this, which is nice to know. <laughs> well, the question would be, does, would that help in, in streamlining this even further? It might help. I mean, I, I, the part of this I am least proud of is you can't see this because it's not in, in remote users can't see this because it, uh, um, because I uh, I'm not, I don't like this. I think it's make file not built in. There we are. I don't like this and I'd like to get rid of it. Um, just, uh, um, just as, Mas as Masahiro Yamada would like, uh, has got rid of it. The whole purpose of this night, big piece of make file nightmare is building files that, uh, that contain the mapping from object, from object file names to the module they're part of. And if there's a nicer way, uh, we gain a nicer way to do that, I would be really happy. Um, this existed in the old kernel with extra, with, with what was used to build modules dot built in, and I'm just using it to build modules thick dot built in, which is kind, which looks kind of like a make file. Um, it's got a, it, it's basically file name, object, um, object name, colon, sorry, module name, colon, object name, object name, object name for every module in the kernel. And I'd like to not have to not to not have to. Um, Built to, to not have to build this by hand and be able to just ask the kernel what um, what is this part of if it is it, it, if it is part of a built-in module. But you're, to, you're talking about code that's probably was written you know 20 years ago. Yeah, exactly. No one understands and, it. People are trying to tear it out. And yes, if you like, welcome. Mm, if, yeah. You know, congratulations. Go ahead and do it. Yeah, exactly. It. If it becomes something with place, <laughs> we're like, hey, thank you. Yes. <laughs> and the nightmare is Milton Mills turn around. I hate to say there's no one that's going to say, oh, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I, my, my problem was people telling is deciding this is horrible and turning it out, so I had to put it back in again. Um, because objects, yes. built, modules are built in is no longer built that, that, that way. Um, anyway. That's the, that's the general idea. It does look like there's nothing fundamental. That people people are not saying it's too ugly to live, which is nice. They haven't looked at the code. <laughs> so at this point, how many tools um, are there modifications to make use of it? And to do uh, and have the it only tools that are modified to make use of it at the moment are Dtrace, which always used it because it was what I wrote it for, and Perf, which I added support for a few, a few weeks ago. Um, and this is for the you mean the KL K all there, there, there are no there are no tools that have been modified to use the um, at the squiggly bracket representation for object files because I haven't written the code for that yet. I mean, I um, <laughs> if this is in, I mean, I, first of all, I'll, I'll set it up so that uh, lib trace event will work on it. We'll parse it, um, and it, and then I can have tools saying if this exists, use mm. this instead of this. That's basically what we're doing yes. ourselves. We can't rely on it yet. And also, what would be nice is right now for like the function, the set filter function, I could add an option in there that you could put in saying, I want this. Well, right this now, this one is like right now, what I do for like both well, modules, but for doing non modules, right now, if you say the set filter function in ftrace just parses the name, you right now have no way of saying just parse this one. I, you can't pass in from the user space hmm. side like an address, although I should, but I think I should be able to. Yeah. Well, there is actually a trick to do it. 
Um, with KFLR, our party getting the address is nearly useless unless you're doing it as a one-off because next time you reboot, they're all going to be different. <laughs> uh, no, so basically what what you can do, there is a trick to enable certain things. If, you, if I add this information to the available filter functions, where I'll have an option, I'll have it off by default, but I could turn it mm. on, have an option, because that way I don't know what parsing I might write. Yeah. So I can have an option to change the thing, so you have to turn the option on. So yeah. it will change the file format. You could, there's a trick, there's actually a fast thing in the set filter functions. You you look at the available filter functions and if you put in the index of where a function is, it'll <laughs> save the fifth function, you write five into set filter functions, it'll enable the fifth function in there. But of course you don't know where that came from or which one it is, so yes, it would be it would be nice to have a way to tell it came from here rather than... What do you mean? Well, it, you, which, which, without, if the joint, all you've got is an M next to an address, which one is which? They're probably all the same function, but oh, they're, they're going to be so, called from mean, different in the places. Output, in the output, yeah. we could actually, yeah, we, that'd be easy because right now we just use chaos sims. So yeah. if you have a way of getting this information in chaos sims, mm. I could just add that to the output file. Yeah. Oh, need to say. So yeah. all your functions, like the functions, will actually say where you, I can put an option in. That's easy. That's just mm. say Tron option, and when it does the print, yeah. it'll actually print. Um, the file. Yeah, it just sounds, uh, that, sounds, that sounds really useful. I mean, uh, I'm, reason, I'm reasonably sure that, uh, how should I put it, if, we, if we're not using F-Trace already, we probably will be in future, and uh, this was one of our bloggers. Yeah. <laughs> you can't always tell what you're putting at. Um, the, uh, uh, obviously, all this stuff is controlled by a separate config option, config KO mod sims, because... Yeah. Well, no, 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 when, when I say option, no, the tra in the trace of best directory, yes, exactly, there's, an yes. there's an options directory. Yes. That yes you can echo yes, one to. And if you echo yes. one, it will turn this on. Yeah. But I mean, because this is config option controlled, you can't allow it. By default, you only get functions. You don't get the offset. Yeah. So there's a sim offset option that you enable one, and then you get the offsets of the functions. I can put in a sim name, or if this is there, I don't know. Sim object name. Yes, or sim object. Ob yes. Yeah, object name. Yes. Like, or just put, yeah, sim object name. Yes. And then it will, when you do this, you'll get the object name in there. Yeah. Although, again, the, the um, scheme I've got here, We'll only get the object name if you need it to disambiguate things because I'm trying well, to it's, say it's, it's huge. Yeah, what I'm saying is, yeah, no, I'm saying yeah. if it doesn't uh, show up, I mean, if it's not, if an object doesn't have a name, it just will be yeah. blank. Yeah, because I mean, I, I actually did mock up doing this for, for every single mod, uh, uh, tr uh, object file in the kernel and it added 300k to the kernel yeah. site, so no, that's ridiculous. Why, why is it important <laughs> to disambiguate, you know, where, where it's coming from? Only, it, only because you might, it might be useful. You might know in this case, for example, that you that that your that the M next you're interested in is get, that you're interested specifically in the instance of M next, which is called from M M bar O. It, and if no, you only there, trace that one, you don't get firings from firings of the and, other one. And there is actually even just looking at traces. Sometimes I have cases where um, I'm like, okay, who called this? You know, I get the parent function. Now I just get the function. Now I look at the parent and like, okay, there's six functions with this name. <laughs> I don't know which, which one it? called it. It's useful printing as well as looking up. Yes. So when I just look at the print side, if it had print this object, I'm like, oh, it came from this file or this guy's caller. Okay. Yeah, that, that's not. That's also not really clear from your cover letter, like that that, mm -hmm. that, that use case. Yeah, I didn't because, because I didn't think of it until I was writing this <laughs> presentation. Yeah. It'll be in the next yeah, one. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I said, yeah, I could use. It. I didn't think about it, but now that I'm listening to you. Yeah. More ideas. I'm like, oh yeah, I could do it for this. Oh yeah, I could use it for this. You oh, look, I you can actually like look up three, symbols reliably now. <laughs> two or three use cases where this would be useful hmm. on F tracer. Okay. So I, if he has that in there, I just like I just turn on and, and it would be. I'm seriously, it's like I could implement all these use cases in just a single day look. and have it ready and done. It's that trivial. I, it's, it's, I have it modulized. I just turn this on. Just give me a, a handle and give me this name, and boom. I, it's it's probably gonna be like ten lines of code. I'm just going to correct for things which are not X symbols, and see and see if there are any ambiguity if there are any ambiguities there. Uh, well, there's certainly some, but I don't think we care about those about, about LC. Most of these don't look terribly ambiguous. I should probably do a unique minus C, but. I'll just throw out that I think that if you do the K config thing, I, again, you know, I know that that's a separate type of idea effort, but if you do that, then I think you'd also might be able to then trace on, on a K config symbol. Yeah, no, no, I, it's basically a K config. like I can have the available filter function show that, and so you actually could pass in the module you want, or I could actually with even nicer. And I don't know if you could, this is where all modules would work. Maybe you should have a option 
of the big option to say so do all, like do all, and put in in the A config description. This adds a lot of memory. yeah. This oh well, look if you look here, this is this is another problem. Right. Um, these are data symbols which are duplicated. There aren't many, but there are a few. And it would be, I have no idea what to do about things like that. Maybe we don't care. Uh, well, this wait, is, wait, is a separate this is, problem. Wait, are we talking about data symbols or? Data, like, yeah, this like, is, I was, looking at, I was just curious about whether we had, this was only a text problem. But there are some duplicated data symbols. I don't think we yeah. care about key. Maybe we don't care about shaft mask, but it seems to be a rare problem. So we can ignore it for now. But how, about, like you said, <laughs> how much data symbols do we care about? And what do we, exactly. what do we, is for Tracy and I, we don't use data except for, there are things where yes, data symbols would be nice to say for, uh, in, but I've never really. Detrace and detrace and BPF trace can look up can look up symbols and uh, uh, yeah. variables in the kernel and mess about with their values and that sort of thing. Yeah. So, so I mean, if I find it there, like uh, Linux or what's called um, K -pro trace, the K -pro tracer, mm. I just echo P colon you know whatever, and I put at address. Yes. Give me that address. Yep. So um, it's like I can read any address in the memory. So I have to if I if I have. Anyway, so you do it by hand, right? Right. It's, so it's just the PPF, it. BPF trace and D-trace can't do it by hand. These be automated. Um, okay. But, uh, but it seems to be a rare enough case that we can ignore it for now. Well, a total BPF of four trace, symbols. If you, if you can do a because K trace uh, creates a trace point that BPF could connect to. Mm. So if you you could do it manually by hand for everything else. For, for yeah. D -trace, does D-trace hook to any trace point? Uh, it yeah, does these know. days. It does these days. But we don't care. We don't care. I don't think because only four. We only found right. four symbols total. It's a later right. problem. It's nothing like. Right, right, right. This so one. I don't think. I don't think data is, should be worth. Don't you bother with. No, data. I'm not bothering. No. Uh, so sorry. I'm saying, what's the overhead of if you enable this for every function? It's about 300k or 300 it's about 300k for all for, for really for every object file. Um, so, but, yeah, so it's about 300k. Uh, it's probably something you don't want to always turn on, but it's no, probably. No, you have a config option that says. Like only duplicates, all symbols, mm. you know, and say, and like, you know, put in in the in the kconfig description for the all symbol one, saying this adds probably 300. Over the last I checked, it added 300k. But with account. enough clever representation, i.e., relying on the fact that these are paths, you can reduce it by having a little, a little tree in there that you just walk along to emit the path names. That should reduce reduce the overhead significantly because we're not duplicating all the. Well, for, well, let's do more complicated, but you know, you know, <laughs> you know perfection is the enemy of good enough. <laughs> uh, it's not something I do in the first in, in the first. The first instance. iteration that we get in, you put in that this is 300, and then when you get this pod thing and drops it down to 10k, you go get rid of it. You know, get rid of the description. Of it. Yes, That's and in fact, this possible improvement is, inc is incorrect uh, because if you, if you look, there's a there's a column there that doesn't exist. That was individual sizes for every symbol, which I've taken out and forgot to repeatedly. It's kept leaking back into my examples. It shouldn't be there um, because there are, it's, that really is bloated. You're, there, there's as many instances of that as there are symbols you usually use in Megabyte. No, we drop them. So that you just have address type. Only the later bits, only the later bits change. Anyway. The data symbols not included. Not yet. Not until we figure out how and if it seems to be worth it. And judging by, by that bit of dumping, I'm not going to go to great, a great deal of length for a total of four symbols that look useful. Yeah. <laughs> it would be useful for, for some interactive debugger sort of things. Mm. Uh, which, which is why Dtrace was thinking, I was thinking yeah. about it from Dtrace's perspective. Because yeah. you, do, you don't expect users to look at things by addressing Dtrace, although they do. <laughs> Just what, one example might be, I know this is dumb, uh, you probably shouldn't rename the variable, but something like ops, OPS, if somebody's just creating an ops. Oh, uh, yes. Struct, which operation is struct? I don't know. Ah, well, I, I, one in 12 I, am, I am lucky in that respect because thanks to, CT, so thanks to CTF, Dtrace has access to all the type information for these things. So I could just ask, what type is it? Oh, right, that's obvious. But if but, you don't uh, have the symbol tables, you know, then, yeah. then you don't have that information. Yeah. Well, there's um, one of the things Dtrace has in fact got is a look is a way to look up every for every data symbol its type. Um, it's not even in the in the kernel; it's in a separate data data file. It doesn't take up any memory. <laughs> but yes, it would be it would be nice. I agree, but I think it's lower priority than adding all the translation unit stuff in, which shouldn't be very difficult actually. I wrote about a third of it this morning. <laughs> anyway. Again. Yep, and we and we write the cover letter, which is. I really should find out why I'm so bad at writing cover letters. 
I, I think it was just that they were starting from the wrong direction, from a direction of Dietrich needs this rather than yeah. what's it actually doing? And in fact, it was actually hard to, to mm -hmm. figure out that that's actually the use case there. Inter inter had. Internal yeah, reviewers who use Dietrich couldn't figure it out. Put so, this yeah. way, just put it this way. When you do your cover letter, don't you mention Dietrich? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> so that, that, that that was, was, maybe at the end you could say, oh, by the way, uh, this came from Dietrich. Okay. I'm good. No, I, yeah, well, I'm, putting, I'm putting this as it might be useful for traces like BPF trace. And if yes. I'm not mentioning Dietrich at all. Yes, yes, yes. I have more time. Yeah. Yes, but. No, just, um, all right, just a curious, um, not related to this then, uh, but, you know, since we are talking about, you know, um, extending symbols and where they come from and a lot of stuff and possible use cases. Um, local make local mod config. Uh, Rasta, you had actually added that a long, long time ago. One of the things that that does not do is uh, handle build dense stuff. So, can you use tracers to actually uh, figure out what, what the symbols are running? I didn't even know what it does. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> local mod config. Uh, so basically, it lets you trim your your dot config for only. Oh, config. it's only the bits that the ah yes. So, the, you know, one of the limitations there is that it, it doesn't actually handle built-in stuff. But if we have something that can trace anything that's actually running in the kernel, and you had a mapping of symbols to also built-in mm. stuff, then we have support for built-in stuff to keep config, which means that you can optimize the runtime kernel for a specific platform. It, this would also improve the uh, nightmare of Dracut, uh, the problem that Dracut has, which is the, the, if you, the, it, it will add all for all the modules, all the modules you want. But if the kernel you're running has everything you want, but some of them, some of them are built in, they'll tend to disappear when you reboot it. <laughs> and uh, Dracut could be, I can't say perfectly reliable, because you've still got the problem if you're building with a completely different kernel than the one you're booting. Looking at the running kernel is never going to be completely reliable, but it could at least be made more reliable than its current. Well, I'm rather worried whenever I run it. <laughs> Is the next kernel going to boot, going to fail to boot just because things were left out by chance? But, uh, Is that other than a runtime optimization, would that, be, that sort of information be useful for tracers? <laughs> Having the respect of K contract for symbols. Hi. And the reason I ask hmm. is because obviously I have a selfish interest in seeing that also for local, make local not yeah. optimized build time. It occurs to it, it, it occurs to me that it might be useful when you're when um, if it, there are some tracing programs for which for which the tracing for which your tracing scripts get, are supposed to be shared in some cases even printed in books. Hello, Brendan Gray. Um, and it would and in the Solaris days you could just share these things and they work because everyone had the same modules because it was built by a central authority. These days that doesn't work so well. It might be nice to be able to ask a, tra a tracer like BPF trace or dtrace what but what config options does, does this script rely on having turned on in order to work? And, and it can at least tell you it can it couldn't tell you completely reliable. You can at least, at least tell you which things it was using symbols from. Which is, which is, it's not everything you might need because a tra getting a program, a tracing program to work might require other things just in order to fire whatever thing it is you're calling on. But at least it might might cause, the, might let you be able to say, if you add these, you won't get a syntax error when you you run the program. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a that's a nice point. Hmm. Oh, it's been a a lot, a lot of interesting improvements coming out of this. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Anyone? Any? 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 Any other ideas? <laughs> I think I've run. I've run dry of idea of ex extra thing, things I could do with this. And also, there are there are little petty fogging things like like do people think the ordering of the elements is right? But we can adjust that when the when the patch review the patch review time. Quite possibly, people the square bracketed square bracketed stuff should go first. This is going to be more common, but <laughs> that's painting by chance. I like painting bike sheds, but not this one. Not this one. <laughs> Yes, one of, one of the things I didn't didn't show in this, but did show in the cover letter, was the things which are part of multiple object, multiple 
modules can be included. Thankfully, this doesn't apply to try to object files. I don't think it's possible to have something which can be part of multiple object files at the same time. <laughs> if we're not tracking source file names here. So hacking, hashing to trickery isn't going to trigger this. Anyway. If it's not going to be used, uh, because I know that you have some optional stuff here, if it's not going to be actually used in tracing, then I'd say not included. The, the only bit we're not dropping, I know of which we're not going to be using is that, which was a simple size, which we're dropping because it's a bloody pig. And you can get it out of the object files anyway. Um, the, uh, I, as far as I can tell, all of these things are useful for looking up, for, for not ambiguously looking up names. I mean, I, I personally so, like it, but again, if tracers don't have a use for it right now, then why, why, why have it? I mean, it, it looks nice, it looks great, you know, but... This, this, well, no, no tracer is going to have an immediate use for the squiggly bracketed thing because it hasn't been written, but uh, I mean, the, the, I think people have given a few good few use cases for the squiggly bracketed stuff as it is now. The um, Things like liquid IO, where a single object file is part of multiple modules, was actually the first request thing raised, objection raised to my first posting of this. What is liquid IO? I don't know. It's some kind of some kind of um, strange storage stack thing, I think. And it's got several things for, for VFIO and non-VFIO, which are built by linking the same objects into multiple modules. <laughs> so you get the same symbol appearing, appearing over and over again in the core kernel uh, if, you, if you make them both non-modular. And now we handle that one case. And there may be other cases. They're certainly not common. It's uh, I mean, you, the sy syntax of that is you get multiple square bracketed bits for appearing after a, uh, after a symbol. Oh, there is another fun thing in here which I've noticed a lot of traces can, can't handle because no one seems to have noticed it can exist. Which is that names can. Uh, um, because names can appear repeatedly at different, um, at, at different addresses, there are at least some traces which assume they can't, and only look at the first one. Uh, I have to call those a bug in those traces. <laughs> was it? I'm sorry. Um, there are at least some tracing programs out there which, which just assume that names are unambiguous, and they just oh. look at the first one and they hack it in some, in some way. And so if you, they assume you can always do a name to address mapping. Oh, and you okay. get a random one back, which is very helpful. <laughs> That's just a bug in the tracer. Right, right, right. Or like F trace, we just enable everyone. So ah, yes. Yeah, so you you, you realize that, you realize there could be more than one, not all of us. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, <Yeah. laughs> and only inside the kernel. Well, there's two ways that people can do it. I mean, I know how to pick a single one. Mm. But oh, most of the ones that make this mistake are outside the kernel, like the one yeah. I wrote. Um, <laughs> anyway. It's one of those things that I wasn't going to fix until someone complained, and no one complained. I don't think I, I don't think there's anything. Um, yeah, the, 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 the multiple thing, as as we think we've noticed, fixing it needs extra work. So yeah, well, no, I I have and, that, and, and now you can get someone else to do the work for you. So excellent. Yeah. Well, no, I have a way of doing. I, someone says I need this one. I said, well, well number three. Yeah, yeah, you got to find like, find out which one is which. Well, the, the only way I've been able to find out which one is which is by probing a random one, one doing things that should trigger only one of them, and seeing whether it fires. And this seems a bit too probabilistic, really. Well, you enable <laughs> functions, or if you just, or you could enable stack traces. So whenever yeah, exactly. you hit it, you get a stack trace, and then you can figure out exactly which, 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 one, yeah. which one's which, and then you're like, oh, this is the one I need. But really, that seems like it involves too much human effort. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Might be too hard to automate from a tooling yeah. side. About from, you know, say, okay, do the stack traces, figure it out, okay, anyway. I, th I, think I, I think I prefer having TU name or object file names in that case. No. By the way, if you leave the meeting, do not exit the meeting. Make sure you leave meeting uh, when you're done. Is there a difference between exit and leave? Oh, exit terminates it, okay. Yes, uh, exit, yes. So, ex sorry, uh, which one? Do, do not, not end meeting. meeting. Yes, yes leave not, meeting. Leave meeting. Let's see, if that, let's see if that works. 